It's time to get outside and enjoy some spring weather. How about hitting the trails? Do you know about the network of pathways across the state and the country that connect together thanks to the Rails to Trails program? Brandy Horton is the Vice President of Communications with Rails to Trails Conservancy. Good morning, Brandy. Hi, good morning. What are you doing talking to me? Shouldn't you be on a mountain bike somewhere? <laughs> I wish. Just a couple weeks ago, I was actually out doing some trail mapping in California, but sometimes you got to be behind a desk. <laughs> well, tell us about how uh, these trails uh, were created, uh, how they got to be used now. Give us the background. Sure, no problem. So Rails to Trails Conservancy is the largest trails advocacy organization in the country. And for the past 35 years, um, we've been working with states and counties and local communities to take former railroad corridors and turn them into multi-use trails. And so when the organization started in 1986, there were only a handful of known rail trails across the country. And now there are over 24,000 miles of rail trails, which make up kind of the basis of the multi-use trails, which there are 40,000 miles of multi-use trails, trails in every single state. Um, and I will say that in Detroit, you are within driving distance of 47 trails. <laughs> so there's really, you can kind of throw a rock <laughs> and hit trails near you all. Well, you might kick up a rock with your tire, but what are some of the trails that we can find here across the state? You say there's 47 <laughs> of them within driving distance. Give us a couple, the couple, three of, you know, the better ones. Sure, sure, sure. Well, I'll tell you the best one. And on Celebrate Trails Day, which is April 23rd, um, this is one to put on your bucket list. It's the Iron Bell Trail, which is a developing network that's linking about 2,000 miles of trail in the state. There are two routes. You can pick it up right in Detroit and head north and go either around Lake Michigan or up and kind of skirt the bottom part of Lake Superior. So in incredible opportunity to really do an epic journey and also um, kind of depart right from right from Detroit and, and really have some fun while you're out there. But Celebrate Trails Day is the day to discover these trails on April 23rd. And we encourage folks to download the Trail Link app. It is a great way to find trails that are new to you or close to where you are, um, is geolocated. So it'll tell you, you know, what's nearby and give you user reviews um, and information to kind of make a choice about what's the best trail for you that day. Is it cheating if you use an electric bike? Not even close. I actually, for the first time, use an electric bike out in California because there's so much elevation gain. Um, it's just a pretty hilly place there. It was in San Francisco region. And it was a game changer because you're still pedaling the whole time, but it just gives you a little extra boost when you need it. So a lot of folks use it if they're you know, towing something, whether that's kids or groceries, or if they're going to go in a place that has a lot of hills, um, or if they just need that extra help for mobility reasons. So yeah, e-bikes are an incredible incredible way to expand kind of trail use and bicycling to even more people. All right, we have exactly 30 seconds left. Anything you want the people at home to know? So go to railstotrails.org where you can get all of the information on Celebrate Trails Day. Mark your calendars for April 23rd. You'll find activities, ideas for things you can do, and we hope you'll let us know what you plan to do so that we can find you out on the trail. Brandy, thank you for the time this morning. Thank you so much for having me, and we'll see you on April 23rd, right? You got it. <laughs> I got to get my e-bike first.